Hey, John Thorburn here. This is Keeping the Print Quality High with Canon Image Press and PrismaSync Color Print Server. Let's get started. Part 2. G7 Calibration and Color Profiling. The Color Matching Story. Let's begin G7 Media Family Calibration. Choose the G7 Uncoded Family and the G7 Uncoded Media. Turn off the ILS and use halftone normal as basis for fewer sheets to measure. The inline spectrophotometer is available on some, but not all models of image press, so for this video, we'll choose to turn the ILS option off to show the method available to all models, which is measuring using the X-Rite i1 Pro 2 instrument. The system prepares the calibration charts, warms up the printer, and prints the charts. Plug in the i1 Pro 2 and initialize it for hand measurement. Six sheets have to be measured. You can see from the screen display that it's four rows per sheet. The color patches being measured are a combination of calibration and color profiling patches. Page 4 are the standard calibration patches. Throughout the other pages are target patches for gray balance and color profiling for custom media output profiles. Measurements are done. Feedback information about the process appears. Measurement accuracy tells us about the trustworthiness of the measurement process. Output profile information tells us about the calibration date and time. Gamut displays a 3D rendering of the color gamut that was created. Neutral color separation displays the CMYK separation logic. And G7 grayscale calibration displays special feedback on the accuracy of the mathematics toward achieving the G7 target. That is not, however, G7 verification. Our next step is to perform G7 verification on our paper. Turn off the inline spectro, warm up the printer, and print the verification pages. These two sheets will look more familiar to folks who know about the P2P target in the G7 process. These are the P2P gray patches, duplicated in multiple positions for data averaging, spanning two sheets of four rows per sheet. The green check mark means we passed G7 grayscale verification. Now we can see the target curves and the delta difference metrics down below. Measurement accuracy is trustworthy. We can move on ahead to color space validation. We choose our media, the validate menu, search for the validation we want, which is Grackle 2013 SCCA, Measure by hand, not with the ILS. SCCA is Substrate Corrected Colorimetric Aims. Initialize the i1 Pro 2 and measure the patches. This is the Idea Alliance Control Wedge 2013. We passed with Quality Level A. Touch on the green checkbox and we can see the delta difference metrics. We see the allowable range 2.5, 5.0, 5.0, 3.0 and our numbers, which were great. Now we're done with the process. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.